Well, I hear that Andy Chowdhury, Britain's favourite hate-preaching Islamist buffoon, intends to demonstrate outside the White House for the establishment of Sharia in America. I was wondering when we'd hear from this asshole again. Every year, it seems, about this time, he gets himself into the media promising some ridiculous stunt or other, and this seems to be the latest. Now, given his record, there's no guarantee that Andy Chowdhury will even be allowed into America, which is, I suspect, what he's hoping, that they'll deny him entry and he can denounce them as hypocrites. So please let him in, America. Try to overlook his support for 9-11 and give this windbag all the airtime he wants on TV. I promise he'll entertain and infuriate. Frankly, I'm surprised Fox News haven't already got him under contract because he's guaranteed to keep everyone's blood pressure nicely bubbling. Let him tell you how much he hates America, how Americans are the world's greatest criminals and how the flag of Islam will fly over the White House. Indeed, some would argue that it's already halfway up the flagpole under this administration. And make sure you call him Andy. He absolutely hates that because it reminds him of who he really is, a middle-class Pakistani boy from Welling with too much time on his hands. Oh, and just for the record, he's not an imam or any kind of authority on anything except scrounging benefit money from a state he claims to despise. He's just a guy off the street with a big mouth and mental problems who's managed to gather a little gang of like-minded casualties around him, and he represents nobody but himself and this little group of hysterical, swivel-eyed, bearded muppets. Here in Britain, Andy Chowdhury long ago transcended the status of mere laughingstock, thanks to a tabloid press that gleefully gives him all the coverage he wants, mainly because it's easier than journalism. Indeed, in Britain, he's now regarded as such an absurd oaf that we often wonder why his fellow fanatics allow him to be their spokesman at all, given the level of ridicule he attracts and will always attract. They may be insane, these guys, but they can't all be stupid. Some of them must be wondering, how come this fat bastard gets all the attention and not me? I'm a better Muslim than he is. I didn't spend my youth drinking, taking drugs and chasing women, and I certainly wouldn't draw the level of ridicule he does. Nobody would. Yet his fat face is in the media all the time. He's being allowed to turn this into a personality cult, and he's making fools of all of us. And they'd be right for once in their lives. Yes, Andy Chowdhury is undoubtedly a joke, but his message is no joke. His message is pure evil. It's anti-human, and if you believe in God, it's anti-God. He isn't just the poison face of Islam, this guy. He's the poison face of humanity, because he is a prime walking example of the damage religion can do to the human mind. To be fair to him, his fanaticism doesn't allow for subtlety. So, unlike the stealth jihadis, he doesn't engage in takia, saying one thing and meaning another. There's no talk of tolerance or harmony or community cohesion. He tells it like it is. You submit to Islam. End of story. He's honest enough to make it clear that Islam is not a religion of peace, but of submission. And that there are no halfway measures, no small print, no get-out clauses. You submit to a religion that puts its foot on your neck five times every day, and if you decide that's not to your taste and change your mind, the penalty is death. Any takers? Of course, if you're gay, the penalty is death anyway, and all that needs to be determined is whether you should be stoned or thrown from the top of a mountain. One for the scholars there. The Muslim Brotherhood front groups, who claim to speak for all Muslims in the West, are embarrassed by Andy Chowdhury because his manifesto is exactly identical to theirs, only Andy lays it bare for all to see, which is not what they want at this stage. They'd rather stick to the fictional narrative of tolerance and harmony and respect that has already sucked in so many gullible lawmakers. But Andy, bless his big mouth, just keeps giving the game away. So please let him in, America. You'll be doing yourselves and everybody else a big favour if you do. Let him take his little gang of fuzzy-faced freaks and social misfits to the White House and let them demonstrate to their heart's content, on live coast-to-coast -coast TV if possible. Let them call for Sharia with its brutal punishments, denial of rights for women, death for gays and the whole grim catalogue of barbarism it represents. And let the American people be made fully aware of what the suit and tie jihadis would like to keep hidden for the time being. Peace. No Sharia.